Hello everyone, this is uh, Srinivas from Informatica GCS and my today's topic is Lineage Analysis uh, Changes for Metadata Manager 10.0. The broad version is Metadata Manager 10.0. From Metadata Manager 10.0 compared to the pre uh, earlier version, there has been a major changes in the way the lineage is rendered for the Metadata Manager objects. The first thing is the usage of Lineage Graph DB. Prior to 10.0, uh, whenever you, you ran a lineage for an object, the Metadata Manager service UI used to connect to the Metadata Manager uh, database, read the uh, data about uh, read the data um, about the lineage, and then build the lineage uh, graph and then display it on the MMUI. Now, rather than uh, querying the Metadata Manager warehouse tables. Uh, metadata manager service would create uh, or would create an lineage graph DB this graph DB is created uh, when you configure the service all the lineage related information is copied from the MM uh, MM metadata manager database schema to this particular graph DB and then the service would query this graph DB and then give you uh, a lineage diagram so this uh, graph DB is basically an uh, uh, is a is a disk location in your infra home because of which uh, the lineage speed has been increased to about 45 times compared to the earlier versions. Along with that, uh, Metadata Manager uh, service also has provided uh, a lot of filter options on the lineage diagram in Metadata Manager. 10.0 you can filter uh, on the lineage diagram based on a class and also based by the particular object for a power center resource by default in pre prior to 10.0 when you run a lineage and the lineage consisted of a power center mapping we used to see a detailed view of an uh, power center mapping and we used to see all the transformations involved in the lineage diagram but in the current uh, 10.0 version we don't see a detailed view when you run a lineage from a power center mapping or any other object but that involves a power center mapping when we enlarge the mapping we can see only the source qualifier and the target table and also metadata manager service provides an option for you to switch the view of a power center mapping image from a non-detailed view to a detailed view. Uh, I would just log in into the MMUI and demonstrate uh, all these options which I have mentioned earlier. So now let me uh, first log in into the admin console. So here you can see the Metadata Manager Lineage Graph location. So this location uh, has to be configured on your in, uh, on the machine where your informatica services are configured when you run a lineage metadata manager service would uh, go to this particular uh, location and then get the details of lineage and then display it on the mmui now coming back to mmui so first let us uh, discuss about the detailed view and uh, the non-detailed view So now let me go to this particular uh, customer sales mapping and uh, run a lineage on this particular mapping. So this is a complete lineage. Uh, we can see uh, now the particular power center mapping is uh, seen in a, in a non-detailed view. You can see only the source qualifier and then the target table. So now, to switch this mapping to a detailed view, you can see an option here, switch to detail. Click on the same. Now you can see the entire mapping. Uh, this mapping is similar to the one which you see in your power uh, center uh, designer. So in the detailed view, you can see all the transformations which are used in the mapping, but in the uh, when you generate a linear diagram, you see a non-detailed view for the power center mapping. Switching back, uh, there is there is no icon for switching back from a detailed view to a non-detailed view. But you can anytime click on actions, refresh, and uh, you can refresh the lineage diagram, 
and uh, refreshing the lineage diagram would uh, uh, would get you back to the non-detailed view. And so now let's discuss about the filter, filter of objects. So now, so in Metadata Manager 10.0 also provides you an option to filter the objects and filtering can be done based on the type of object and the uh, exact object itself so now let me click on this and i can click on filter object so the lineage diagram is regenerated and i can see the objects which we had filtered has uh, disappeared from the lineage diagram and also the corresponding uh, objects which were later uh, after that particular uh, object which we filtered have also been disappeared to get the objects back you can click on actions manage filters Click on the uh, red icon and uh, apply. The earlier filter which had been applied will go. So now, what we can do is uh, we can filter an object of a type. Filter object of this type. So we can see both the tables uh, prior to the prior to the uh, ETL resource which connected to the source qualifier and after the ETL resource which connected to the target table have been disappeared. Click on manage filter, remove the filter apply, click on apply. Uh, this type of uh, filtering is uh, largely helpful when we can uh, uh, apply a filter on uh, uh, Oracle databases where we can filter out uh, procedures, functions and uh, packages which are by default seen as a part of a lineage diagram but uh, in case you don't want to see those type of objects you can filter it out. So filtering options, uh, filtering option which has been provided in 10.0 gives uh, us an option to see only the required objects on the lineage diagram. So I hope by the end of this video would be, you would now be having a brief uh, information on uh, the recent changes uh, with regard to the lineage rendering for objects in Metadata Manager. You can refer to Metadata Manager guide for uh, any more details. We would like to hear back from you. If you have any queries or feedback on this video or you want us to work uh, on any videos uh, for as per your requirement, you can anytime drop us a mail at supportvideosetinformatica.com. Also, we are on Twitter. Kindly tweet us at uh, our handle InfoSupport. Have a great day.